Hello and welcome to a day in 15 minutes UPSC prelims daily current affairs by Neo IAS. And today our topics for discussion are HIV or AIDS, then Operation Clean Art, then National Rabies Control Program that is NRCP, then privatization of airports, then instrument in support of trade exchanges that is INSTEX, then Sahyo Sangalp Resolution. Okay, so our first topic it is related to HIV or AIDS. So why it came in news because or we can say the related news is that Braille booklet in Odia to create awareness about HIV AIDS. Okay, so this is the related news. So talking about HIV, you all know the human immunodeficiency virus, it infects cells of the immune system and thereby destroying or we can say impairing its functions. Okay, so we can say infection with the virus, it results in progressive deterioration of the immune system and hence leading to immune deficiency. Okay, so you know that our immune system, it is considered deficient when it can no longer fulfill its role of fighting infection and disease. Okay, so about AIDS, you know, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, it's a term which applies to the most advanced stages of HIV infection. Okay, so it is defined by the occurrence of any of more than 20 opportunistic infections or HIV related cancers. Clear. So, uh, regarding the mode of transmission, HIV can be transmitted through unprotected sexual intercourse, that is vaginal or anal, and even through oral sex with an infected person. Okay. And also it can be transmitted through transfusion of contaminated blood and also sharing of contaminated needles, syringes, and also some of the surgical equipments or other sharp instruments. Okay, so it may also be transmitted between a mother and her infant during pregnancy and also childbirth and breastfeeding. Clear? So, uh, about the diagnosis, the serological tests such as RDTS or enzyme immunoassay, they detect the presence or absence of antibodies to HIV or HIV P24 antigen. Clear? So, please note that no single HIV test it can provide an HIV positive diagnosis. Clear that you have to remember. And here all HIV testing service it must follow the 5 C principles recommended by the WHO. So which are they? The first one is the informed consent. Second one confidentiality. Third one counseling. Fourth one correct test result. And fifth one connection. Connection means linkage to care, treatment and other services. Clear? So, these are the 5 C's. Then, about antiretroviral drugs. So, this antiretroviral drugs, they are used in the treatment and prevention of HIV infection. Okay. So, they fight HIV by stopping or interfering with the reproduction of the virus in the body and also they help to reduce the amount of virus in the body. Clear? So that's all. Our second topic is Operation Clean Art. So the news is that Manku's hair it is used for brushes and used by smugglers, it makers under radar. So this is the news headline. So let's see. First, here you have to know about Operation Clean Art. So this Operation Clean Art, it was the first pan-India operation to crack down on the smuggling of Manku's hair in the country. Okay, so this Operation Clean Art, it was conceived by the Wildlife Crime Control Bureau and please keep in mind that the Mankus, it is listed in Schedule 2, Part 2 of the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. So this Mankus hair, it is in high demand among artists worldwide because of the quality of brushes they help to create which defines lines clearly and also hold paint properly. So, this mongoose hair it is in great demand. Clear? So, next you can see the six species of mongoose which are found in India. They are Indian grey mongoose, reddy mongoose, 
then small indian mongoose crab eating mongoose then striped net mongoose and brown mongoose clear so uh, uh, in the wildlife protection act of 1972 the indian grey mongoose it is listed in schedule 2 while all the other five species they are listed in schedule 4 clear and uh, according to sites appendix 3 for all six species were and another quota for commercial trade clear so that's uh, about wildlife protection act of 1972 and regarding sites next you have to know about the wildlife crime control bureau so first you have to know that it's a statutory multidisciplinary body and it was established by the government of india under the ministry of environment and forest to combat organized wildlife crime in the country okay so the bureau it has got its headquarters in new delhi and it assists and advises the custom authorities regarding inspection of the consignment of flora and fauna as per the provisions of wildlife protection act sites and exim policy governing such an item clear so coming to our next topic that is nrcp that is national rabies control program so the news is that the minister of state that is health and family welfare Sri Ashwini Kumar Chaube, he stated about the procurement of anti-rabies vaccine in a written reply in the Lok Sabha. So, this is the related news. So, under this national rabies control program, funds are not provided for procurement of anti-rabies vaccine. The reason is that there is rabies elimination drive by 2030 globally and as a result, there is a significant demand of anti-rabies vaccine and serum from the neighboring countries like Myanmar, Malaysia, Philippines and these countries they are importing vaccines from India. So it's one reason and also as a result all the rabies vaccine manufacturers they were requested to ensure that the manufacture of ARV it is carried out with full capacity and also first preference may be accorded to meet domestic requirements clear. So uh, under this NRCP program under the 12 5 year plan this national rabies control program has been approved okay so this funds under this nrcp they are only provided for training surveillance then laboratory strengthening and advocacy etc and here you have to remember that nrcp it has both human and animal health component so first we can see about human component so it is being implemented in all the states and in union territories and the nodal agency is national center for disease control clear and there are some strategies for the human components okay and the strategies they are training of health professionals then laboratory strengthening then uh, you can see here information education and communication etc and regarding the second component that is the animal component which is being pilot it is tested in haryana and chennai okay so the animal welfare board of india the ministry of environment and forest it is the nodal agency for animal component of the program and under this its strategies are population survey of dogs then mass vaccination of dogs then dog population management etc clear so that's all uh, our next topic it is regarding privatization of airport clear so first you have to know why it came in news so the airport authority of india it has recommended the center to privatize airport at Amritsar, Varanasi, Bhuvaneshwar, Indore, Raipur and Trichy, a government official. It is according to a government official report. Clear. So, this is the news. So, the recommendation it came as the center. It has already privatized airports at like no Ahmedabad, then uh, Trivandrum, Guwahati for operation as well as management and development through private public partnership model in February okay so this airport authority of India it works under the ministry of civil aviation and it owns and manages more than 100 airports across the country clear so here you have to know about the airport economic regulatory authority of India so uh, initially uh, the airport authority of India it was running and managing the airports okay so after some, some time what happens a change it was made in the civil aviation policy as some private players were also given airports to run okay so the reason behind this was to provide consumers with great services so consequently the airport economic regulatory authority of indian act 2008 it was passed which set up the aera okay 
So, this AERA acts as an independent regulator which can take care of interests of the service providers as well as that of the consumers. So, here you have to remember one thing that is the airports that are having traffic above 50 lakh passengers, they are called major airports and they come within the uh, purview of AERA. Okay, whereas airports below the limit of 15 lakh passengers, they come under AAI. Clear? So, recently an amendment was proposed changing the ceiling to 35 lakh passengers of what airport will come within the purview of the airport regulator. That you have to remember. Clear? So, that about the recent amendment. Then this AERA, it regulates tariffs and other charges, that means developmental fee and even passenger service for aeronautical service at major airport. Clear? Then uh, about PPP, that is public-private partnership. You know, this uh, PPP, it involves collaboration between a government agency and a private sector company that can be used to finance, build and operate projects. Clear? So, the commonly adopted models of PPP, it include BOT, then uh, build, own, operate, then build, operate, lease, transfer, etc. Okay. So, these models, they are different on level of investment, ownership control, risk sharing, etc. Clear? So, coming to our next topic, that is instrument in support of trade exchanges, that is INSTEX. So, the news is that as founding shareholders of the instrument in support of trade exchange, that is the France, Germany and UK, they welcome six new European countries to the mechanism. So, this is the news. So, talking about the INSTEX, you know it is designed to circumvent US transaction against trade with Iran by avoiding the use of the dollar. So, as I said, France, Germany and UK, they are the founding members of this mechanism and now the government of Belgium, Denmark, then Finland and Netherlands and Norway and Sweden, okay, they have taken decision to join this INSTEX as shareholders. So, this Paris based INSTEX, it, uh, basically it functions as a clearing house allowing Iran to continue to sell oil and import other products or services in exchange, okay. So, the system it has not yet enabled any transaction, that also you have to remember. So, about the background, you have to remember is that in 2008, 2018, okay, to um, what happens, this US is it withdrew from the international agreement governing Iran's nuclear program and reinstated heavy sanction against Tehran, okay. So, the accession of the six members strengthens instex and we can say demonstrate European efforts to facilitate legitimate trade between Europe and Iran, clear. So, that is all our next topic, it is regarding Sahyog Sangal resolution. So, the Sahyog Sangal resolution, it was adopted in the regional conference on uh, Ek Bharat Shrestha Bharat with focus on Jal Shakti and disaster management and uh, it was organized by the Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances, clear. So, the conference is conducted in collaboration with governments of Tamil Nadu and Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir at Jammu, clear. So, in the last class, I have given you two questions. So, the first question is school education quality index, it, it has been released by. So, it is a very direct question, it is released by Niti Ayog. So, your answer is A. So, our second question is regarding Sankai festival. The festival, it is all about unity and diversity and was recently in news celebrated in which of the following states. So, this is the question. So, you know the Sankai festival, it was started in the year 2010 and it belongs to the state Manipur, okay. So, your answer is B, clear. So, today you have got two questions, that is the first question is Tali Valley Wildlife Sanctuary, it is located in which of the following state and your options A, Arunachal Pradesh, B, Manipur, C, Mizoram and D, Sikkim. And your second question is M. Hariali mobile application, it was launched by which one of the following ministry? And your options A, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, B, Ministry of Agriculture, C, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs and D, Ministry of Culture. Okay. So, please find the answer for these two questions and please comment in the comment session. So, that is all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the session. If you have any doubt, please comment in the comment session. Thank you so much.
So please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Follow our website neoiascap.com for the detailed content and monthly prelims digest. Also join our current affairs exclusive test series through the website. And finally, participate in the daily current affairs prelims infotainment queues at our telegram channel that is Neo IAS prelims at 9.30 pm.